Hi guys, I hope that in a moment I'm gonna convince you that it's a, a great idea to try my new aqua workout with resistant bands. But before you get there, I wanna tell you a little bit about those bands and maybe which one you should choose for the class. So there's gonna be a couple workouts with different type of bands. This one is flat band, this one is loop band or mini band, and this one is band with handles. So there's gonna be a few different workouts and uh, I wanna make clear that none of those bands that I am using are especially made for aqua classes. Uh, I know there are brands like this, but honestly, anytime I've been using them, I could not see any difference. Um, and here's why, they will all break eventually. No matter how hard you're gonna try, they will fall apart. The general rule is that you're not supposed to overstretch them. These bands, for most exercise, shouldn't be stretched more than twice of its length. This sometimes can be stretched a little bit more, but again, it's very important that you actually get at least two different types of bands, one with less, one with more resistance, so you can switch them up for exercise. Another great tip that I can give you if you wanna enjoy your band a little bit longer is uh, always try it after you use it. Yes, it's gonna get obviously totally wet, and you don't want to just put it like this to your back and then pick it up next day because they're gonna get very sticky and this is how they're gonna break. Of course, chlorine in a pool will make that destroy process a little bit faster, but again, they still gonna last you for many, many weeks, I promise. It's just a matter of finding the right resistance, okay? Now, something about the safety. I always tell my students, never use the band this way. So never right in front of your face, anywhere near your eyes. A great rule is keep it below your chin. Sometimes when the band is attached right here, we don't have that 100% control over where's the level of attachment. So just be very careful, okay? Uh, you never want the band to break, obviously, when you pull it in towards your face for obvious reasons. And one other thing, before you start using your bands, always check if there's any signs of uh, little holes or any cuts in it. If you see it, please don't use it because it may break very, very quickly, probably at that workout that you are planning to complete. So uh, if that's the case, don't use it. Use another band or do something else and get yourself a new band. Quite often when you order those bands, they're gonna come in a set of two or three, sometimes even more. Uh, these uh, bands come in a set of eight sometimes. And again, just experiment, see which one works for you best. Uh, loop bands can also come in a form of uh, like a fabric ones. Those will not be good for aqua class. Obviously, you want the band to dry quickly and pack your stuff and go home. So that's not gonna work. But all the other bands, um, they're really wonderful and we can incorporate so many new exercises. So go ahead, order yours and then check what's available on my channel with resistant bands. Thanks for watching.